Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today I'm gonna try and show you guys how I gain elo and ranked so right now we are 24th in the world which is exactly basically 10,000 elo and this only came from today i've only played for about two and a half hours and i went all the way from 9,000 elo which is the very bottom of masters all the way to the top and ranked top 25 in the world so i'm going to teach you guys show you with draft and show you with skill and what to focus how to win all your ranked games. Okay, so the first thing you have to do when you get into a ranked game is check what modifier it is and check what pick you have. So the other team has first pick and it's classic modifier. So if the other team has first pick, the two brawlers you always want to ban are Mo and Kenji. No matter what, you have to ban these brawlers if the other team has first pick because they are easily the best brawlers in the game. Now in this position, I have last pick in the draft, so I'm gonna get the carry brawler. So we're gonna wait for this entire draft to go by and we are gonna pick our brawler based off what our teammates have and the other team. So the other team has Griff, Jean, and Chester. So there's two ways to go about this with the last pick. We can either take a thrower, something that's really good into that like Larry, or a tank usually that has a lot of carry ability. But obviously they have a Chester and a Griff. So we're just gonna pick Larry because this map has a lot of walls before the Griff and the Chester mess it all up. And we're just gonna hope that we can get some early control. Even though Larry isn't a carry brawler, when you have good matchups, it could be a carry. So I'm just gonna try and not let this Griff do literally anything this game and just be an absolute nuisance. Now I have vision gear, so like bro literally can't do anything he can't sneak on me anywhere and i'm just gonna try and use these walls to my advantage and just i don't know sit here and do this the entire game now i'm kind of scared of the dude in here i'm gonna try and get my super because the super is obviously really good put the super above them and there's literally nothing that they could do about it now the griff is on the other side and the issue is we have a rico i don't know why we have a rico but we do and the Rico wants his side back. So I guess I got to go over here and get the Griff on an open map, which isn't the easiest, but we're going to try and do it anyways. Switch spots. Okay, we're kind of stuck in spawn here. So I'm just going to try and slowly chip my way out. My goal is to get a super and then use that bot to kind of help us out. But hopefully our teammates can do something as well in terms of like get a hypercharge or a super and clear some lanes. So my Jesse is going to use hypercharge now. That's going to get us some position. At the very least, we can hide behind this turret. At the very, very least. We also know that Chester is over there. So just off that Jesse turret, we're able to get control and get some lanes back. I'm going to save my bot until this guy spawns. Nice pull over there by the Gene, but now we just have a lot of map control, so there's just not too much that they could do at this point. Can they reset? I don't think they can. They definitely can't reset, so I'm just going to throw my bot as a distraction. Nothing that they can do, and that is going to be a pretty nice game number one. Now, we do have an AFK teammate, which isn't the best, but this Chester has no shot on lane against me because we made a really good six pick. He actually can't do anything. Like, this Griff is shooting at him, but he just doesn't understand. There is like not a single way this Chester can ever win lane versus me without help. So I'm just going to keep chucking those shots. There's nothing he could do. Bro, does like I don't even have a wall and still he's useless. So as you guys can see, there's literally nothing that these guys could do, but I didn't go for anything crazy. I just stuck to my side. I stuck to my job and I got an easy win. So now we're playing on parallel plays. We see the mode is still classic, but we don't have last pick they do. So we're not going to ban Mo or Kenji. And exactly like this guy's doing, we're going to ban last pick brawlers that can do a lot of work into us. I'm going to ban Sam in case we have a squishy comp so that they can't run it down. This guy banned Dinah in case we have a tanky comp that can't really shoot over walls. Okay, so the other team has Larry and RT and my teammate, I don't know why he picked Fang. So if I were to make the absolute best pick here, I would pick Barley. And I know I just played Larry last game, so I kind of want to switch it up and go something else. But to win in ranked, you just have to make the correct decisions. And you guys can see we don't really have the best brawlers into a thrower. And RT also sucks into throwers. So I'm matching their Larry with this brawler pick. And then I'm also getting a good matchup myself. I'm not too worried about them going a last pick tank. Because as I said, we banned Sam. 
so that they don't have like the best run it down brawler. And then we also have Cordelius and Fang so we can deal with tanks pretty fine. Farley was definitely the right pick because now I have two good matchups and then I can also lane the Larry. So everything is perfect about this game so far for us. You know, outside of having a Fang on our team. But the thing with randoms is you can't control them. There's always gonna be a Fang on your team. I mean, I literally played a game with Mortis on Heist earlier and I still won because I just knew what to do. Okay, so we're able to get a pretty fast kill over there. And our Fang is kind of useless, but he's, you know, whatever. He's standing in his zone and that's more than I can ask for. This Gale literally can't do anything to me. So I'm just gonna like kind of, oh, I was gonna try and like bully him and take that zone, but unfortunately I couldn't. At least our Fang is, you know, doing our thing and sitting there. So good on him. Now I'm gonna go back and help this zone because you know, obviously, bro needs some help. I definitely messed up that super. That wasn't the best. I did kill the Fang, I guess, but could have been a lot, or not the Fang, the Gale, but that could have been a lot better. Come on, Fang, let's kill that. All right, good enough. There's another kill. And we have 100% of this zone now, and our teammate is doing exceptional work on the top. Gale and RT over here, these guys literally can't do anything to me. I mean, again, I'm just gonna shoot that. Nothing can be done. Put this gadget. Again, not too much can be done. I mean, they did a really good job, but at the end of the day, they fully have to defend that zone and we could just go up and completely ignore the left. Now, Gale's gonna do its absolute best. He put a tornado in everything, used his super, but unfortunately, you can't win a 3v2 really in Brawl Stars unless you have a crazy skill diff. So we're gonna take that win. Starting game two, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna hover the mid and just try and figure out where I wanna go and who I need to help. We don't need to win the game in five seconds, so there's no rush. I'm gonna use my gadget to help my teammates. You always wanna help your teammates, that's very important. We're gonna get a kill over there, and this RT's cooked. Like, there's just nothing an RT can do to me. Like, he can go hide in the corner, I guess, but that's not gonna win you a game. Super that Larry, and again, Larry can't do anything to me either. How did that Larry not get ticked? How did that even happen? I guess I'm healing myself. RT should just let it go. Like, there's literally nothing that this guy could ever do on my lane. Literally nothing. You might as well go to the other lane because he can't even hit a shot on me. And this has nothing to do with me being good at the game. This is just, I'm playing Barley and he is not playing a brawler that counters me. And that's literally it. Dude, no way my hypercharge just got wasted. But again, even though we have a teammate that may not have made the best pick, and by may not, I mean definitely did not make the best pick, we still got a really easy win. Now, I know what you guys might be thinking, like, he's a pro player, of course he can win, but I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm literally playing Barley and Larry, and it's just free wins and super easy. Nobody, none of the pros really play ranked and take it seriously, so it's not like you're facing anyone who's just gonna skill diff you and be much better. Again, same rule, they have first pick, so we wanna ban these two brawlers. It's really important to get these two brawlers out of the way, and we do, perfect. That's like a big step one to winning the game is banning correctly. Cause if you ban the incorrect brawlers, the other team's just gonna get a free comp and it's gonna win very easily. Now it's not always Kenji and Mo, obviously that you have to ban, every meta it changes. So if you wanna know what's good, just watch tier lists and stuff like that, it's fairly obvious. Now my team drafted really well. They went an anti-tank and a thrower and these guys have Max, Buster and Colt. So a lot of kind of the same stuff. I think I'm gonna go Sam into this, where is Sam? Because they can't really deal with the amount that I'm going to go in over and over and over. And then if you mix that with a Larry who has a pretty free game outside of the max, we should have a pretty easy combination to win this game. So I'm just going to run up and basically make a mess of this game because that's my job as a Sam. I don't know how my crab already died, but he did. I mean, respects to him. And our Larry is just being the GOAT. I mean, this is your job as a Larry. Be the last line of defense and just hold it down. I mean, our Larry, or not our Larry, our Crab literally hit zero shots. I don't even know how that's possible, but it is. I'm gonna go ahead, pick that up. And you know, I'm running in, I'm, you know, dying a lot, but that's kind of my job. That's kind of my job, to be honest. I'm gonna go, oh my God, I almost messed that up. I'm gonna make a nice little save over there. Pull in that max, free kill, and we got two. Now, eventually our crab is gonna level up and eventually our Larry's gonna get a bot. I'm not complaining about the Larry, a little bit about the crab. But as the game goes on, it's gonna get better for us and worse for them. 
Our Larry is get or our crab, I mean, is getting some hits. And I'm just gonna run into this guy, get a kill because he does not do enough damage to deal with me. And that's gonna be a quick kill. I keep calling our lobster Larry because I keep thinking of Larry the lobster from SpongeBob. Don't kill me. Max is gonna hypercharge, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna be our last line of defense because I don't trust our randoms. Free kill over there, and then two of them are really low as well. I'm gonna go for the pull. Gonna be able to get it for free. I don't know how that glove missed. I blame auto aim. I don't know if I should have shot that either, but I did and I'm gonna go die because if you don't have your gloves, there's no point of staying alive. Now I definitely could have played that a lot better, but as long as I'm not throwing, we're fine and our crab is almost level three and that's really all we can ask for is a level three crab. There we go, he hits a couple shots. He's really close and bang, he's got level three. So at this point, the game is really easy. It's just, don't be dumb, don't throw, and it's gonna be a really easy win. Gonna send that into the net, and just like that, easy, beautiful, one nothing us. Now all I have to do is make sure I don't throw this moment. So I'm just gonna let our crab do most of the work. I'm not gonna go in and throw. And then easy, just like that, we get two kills. Game over. Now we've already played five games and I haven't even done anything crazy. I haven't done any team wipes. I haven't done any trick shots. I haven't done anything like that. I'm just playing the game properly, which is really all you have to do in ranked to get free wins. So again, I'm just gonna throw this off the wall. Eventually I'm gonna get close enough to the buster where I can just run up and punch him. That works perfectly because not only did I get the kill, but I also got to throw my glove against the wall. Ooh. That was decent value, but again, that's my job. Just go up, die, do my part, wait for this crab to level up. And I mean, hopefully he levels up. He did take a while last game, but we're doing what we gotta do. I'm trying to get close to this buster, but they are doing a lot of work to me, wow. I'm gonna go down, but I mean, again, it happens. We just gotta get some levels. Crab is gonna get a lot of levels there, it looks like. I'm just gonna pull this guy, please, all right. I didn't want to play that riskier than I had to. I know there's a dude here. Okay, there is a wall here, so I should be fine. Beautiful. Anywhere there's walls, Sam is way too dangerous. That's going to be a very nice goal. And our crab is not really that close to leveled up, but somewhat close. That buster should have pulled me. He did not, so I killed him. Oh, that was a horrible, that was a horrible Sam glove. Don't copy that, guys. And our Larry, I know I'm not playing Larry this game, but our Larry is doing a perfect job. He's just being our last line of defense, holding it down. If I die, I'm not worried because this guy knows exactly how to play his brawler. Again, free kill. Nothing that Buster can do to me. These guys are low, so I'm going to go for the kill. There's one. Ooh, I thought I was going to get him too. I'm not going to rush it. Let my Larry cook. He cooked. All right, I kind of messed that up by taking too long, but it's fine. Larry puts it in the net and beautiful. That is going to be our third straight win. Six and O in games, beautiful. Now, even though our Larry only did half of our damage and our lobster, crab, whatever you want to call it, went two and 11, everyone did their job and that's all that matters. So all I have to do is keep playing games like that and it's essentially free wins. I could keep pushing up as high as I want and I might even go for number one, I'm not sure. But that's going to be it for my video today. I hope you guys learned a little bit. And if you guys like this type of series, I can always just play three games a day and kind of show you guys what I do. So let me know in the comment section below. That's going to be it for today. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.